the world is becoming risky to live in with the arrays of ailments cohabiting with humans. From malaria to typhoid fever, tuberculosis, cancer, Ebola virus, Lassa fever, and to the new threat in town, the novel coronavirus. The need to pay concerted effort and serious attention to one's health in the face of this life-threatening ailment cannot be overemphasized. You can compare being well and being sick. There's a lot of pain, discomfort and anguish that comes with one who is not feeling fine. When somebody is in good health, you are able to think of so many other things. You are able to go about your day's business. You are able to juggle one or two things together. You don't get unnecessarily irritable. Everything moves on fine. Everybody would like to choose health over sickness. Most of this ailment shouldn't become severe or claim lives if detected early. But not many are conscious of their health. So, the question is, why the negligence? Some persons feel that um, when I get to the hospital, they will always say something is wrong with me, even when nothing is wrong with me. So some persons will feel by the time I get there, they will start calling names of different diseases and I'll be more scared than before. So I'd, the thing is, a lot of people are ignorant of this fact. Also, a lot of people don't have access to medical health. Also, finance is also an issue. Some other persons feel that they don't have money, so it's better they just stay at the place and they die. Um, the first thing I would say is also religion. Usually, in some churches, they will say, it's not my portion, it's not my portion. The pastor preaches faith, so they feel that with faith, everything has been taken care of. Forgetting that God also gave medical sciences the knowledge to be able to you know, cure sickness and diseases because he knows that sickness will surely come. Money is one. And that's where the government comes in. Primary health care, that's what primary health care is supposed to be doing to our women or to everyone. You know, but I don't think enough is being done because the awareness is not there for people to know about their health. That is the most important thing, to know what to do and to know where to go to. If they have adequate information on what their health entails, I believe no one wants to be sick, no one wants to die. If they have adequate information, you know, not the one that culture imposes on us, but what medicine is saying. If they have adequate information, I believe every woman will want to take that opportunity. Through Womanhood with Olori Ajayi Foundation, Olori Roti Ajayi, a fertility, sex and relationship counsellor, and a team are set to change the narratives through a health awareness initiative, which consists of medical outreach programs and women empowerment in different communities. Human has a story of her life and she told her. And the woman collected her name, her phone number, everything. And she invited me down to her house that what is going on. And I explained everything to the woman. And uh, before we know, just in fact, just three, four days, the uh, mommy, Oluranti Ajayi, she rent apartment for her. No uh, mattress, um, dish, stove, fan, no. Those things that someone meant to use at home, they've already gotten it for her. I was so amazed that these people are still on health, that they can still ask someone like this. We want to reach out to people to make impact. We, we give sewing machine to people. A lot of people, even these people that, have, that are here today, I've not met them. This is my first time of meeting a lot of them, but we met online. And a lot of people have benefited from this foundation just because we choose to do what is right. From the little that we have, we organize um, empowerment programs that we, we, we recognize the, the widows in our community or the single women or people. You, you may not even be a widow, but you are in need. And we try as much as possible to reach out to them in our own little way. Womanhood with Dolori Ajayi has been shedding light, enlightening people about the benefits of being self-aware of your health status and uh, aside from that, the woman with Olori Ajayi will reach out a lot to widows, single mothers, generally the less privileged women in the society. We try to do the little we can. 
Our matron has been up and doing, and uh, members have been supporting her, trying to actualize the dream. <laughs> To commemorate the International Women's Day, celebrated annually across the globe every 8th of March, the foundation visited Ketu community in Koshofe local government area of Lagos State with a health awareness program. That's the Women Foundation. Today is the International Women's Day. So we have come to the Ketu community enlighten our women on how to take care of their health. Resource persons took turns to discuss mental health, the right diet and issues revolving around menopause in women for elderly living. Uh, mental health is referred to overall psychological well-being of an individual. Only fish for we lerawa ni go go oriara ni no if anyone is suffering from mental health, the individual will not be able to coordinate himself or herself. When you notice that somebody is behaving in an irrational manner, please, it calls for your attention and my attention. Everything that has a beginning also has an end. And about the age of 40, when the body is beginning to change, this ideally take place between the age of 40 and 50 but in a few women these changes may take place a little earlier that is why we keep telling women you see if you notice any changes in your body that is unusual please talk to the expert so that you may live a good healthy life the key to living healthy first of all starts with your diet there's a particular weight you should maintain at a particular age so that you will live long how do you achieve this healthy weight by by eating the normal things you should eat. For our elderly people, as much as possible, saturated fats, they are not good for you. Please try as much as possible to do fish, stock fish and go on. Free blood tests, blood pressure and vital signs check were conducted for members of the community as part of the group's contribution towards early detection of diseases and ailments free society. We're here today because we feel it's also um, the International Women's Day and we feel that one of the things we can do to help the community is to bring medical check you know, to their doorstep. So here it's easy. The checks we're doing today, they are free of charge. We are doing it because we also want to identify with women and also people in the community. Now we are going to be checking blood pressure, we are also going to be checking the blood sugar. Then we have some drugs to dispense, the multivitamins and the analgesics. Now some other persons we have checked so far, we discovered that their blood pressures are high. Some persons also have high blood sugar. They said they had not been diagnosed before, so we feel that okay, now that they know, we have referred them to tertiary institution to manage them and we hope also to call on them and follow them up. I've been able to know my blood level than my high blood pressure. I want to say a very big thank you to the organizer of this program that may the good luck going to bless them and multiply them. The program is awesome, it's wonderful, it's interesting, it's a program that is that is supposed to be now. You understand? This is the program for the now. So what we are saying is that it's a program to empower women, which is excellent. So we thank God for the program. It is a wonderful program so far and very rich. This is uh, an enlightenment campaign on health. And uh, health is very crucial to individual life. The benefit that is likely to come out of this kind of program is that there will be less stress on people, which means they will pay less on hospital bills, and uh, there will be happy homes, because if nobody is sick in a the house, then that house is definitely a happy home. The address I have for people concerning uh, womanhood with Toloria Jai is that uh, uh, we should take good example from her. God has been using her to bless life by imparting 
uh, his gift, a gift upon them. At least he's doing one thing or the other in the society, going to communities, doing all this uh, medical, free medical check and all that. So it's one of those things, one of the legacy we need to leave for our society. Health is undisputable wealth for every living soul. The woman would call on philanthropists and well-meaning people to help the needy and urge corporate organizations to include health initiatives as part of their corporate social responsibility. They equally call on the government to review health policies for communities free of unhealthy individuals. This is a wake-up call for all of us as community leaders, as individuals. We have to give back to society and this is one of the major ways that we could. And I would encourage people to do this, to seek support from wherever they could to organize and bring something like this together for women in our domains. I think most of these corporate organizations should imbibe the culture of, you know, doing one or two things like this medical outreach. And if they feel that they cannot do it for one reason or the other, should partner with all these foundations so that we can have a healthy community. The government should do more in terms of health policy. If they have promulgated laws that has to do with health, they should follow it up. If the, there is an health policy, like we have the NHIS now, if the government is conscious of its, um, its duties, they will be on it and it will go a long way to help the citizenry. We can't do it alone because this is self-funded. We are taxing ourselves. We even reach out to people to give us as little as 1,000 naira. If you are committed to 1,000 naira every month, you have about 4,000 people in the group, it will go a long way. But unfortunately, people are not doing that. And we think that if other people can join us, we have the time, we have the people that can reach out, you know, in various forms. So if you have a fund, then we can reach out to more people. We will have less death. We will have healthy community. The government itself will be at peace. The government will be at peace if we have healthy community.